Hey, what's up guys? So, in today's video, uh, I'm going to make more of a instructional, not really instructional, but a how to mold the flare of the car because uh, it's been a while as you can see and uh, the lip is on for the bumper. Uh, well, it's like, it's honestly a splitter. I didn't expect it to be that long, but uh, it goes all the way to like back here. Not sure if you could even see underneath there, but uh, it is a full splitter pan basically and then it on the rear over as you'll be able to see as I did mold it in uh, it's not done there's still imperfections here I need to make this more of a sharp angle but uh why green I don't know it's filler primer I didn't know it was green but whatever it doesn't really matter I just needed something to seal it from the rain as you can see there's a lot more room now um, so as you'll notice it's actually different because on this side when I mounted the flare it was centered like the flare was just centered and basically on that side which I'll do to this side I ended up actually rotating until that piece is all the way at the bottom of the side skirt to be more like the Voltex one so technically if you look at it from an aero standpoint it's a uh, it's pushing the air around the wheel and tire that's why the Voltex one is like that, so I figured I would copy that in a sense. Um, so this, I'm going to be doing this side today because uh, tomorrow in the early morning I'm going to the canyons, uh, which is where I used to ride with my bike, if any of you remember those videos, and finally actually drive this car for once, like hard. So uh, this tire does rub on the over fender, so I will be mounting that, um, probably start lightly molding it, and uh, cut out the inside so I don't have to worry about rubbing. Another thing I did, which the buyers came, they did it for me because I was like, whatever, you're getting it for like $200, which is cheap, so you do it. Uh, there's a soft top back here that obviously folds up and down. Uh, that's fully gone and sold. Uh, I think that's about 70 pounds lost there, which is uh, neat, but mainly just makes a lot of room because now from the trunk, I can put stuff here because of how bad the trunk space is. Another thing is, uh, on the hard top, I lost my rear window because... Uh, I put in a polycarbonate rear window and uh, literally uh, I think it lasted like a few days, it lasted like two or three days and then uh, I was driving home and it was like a monsoon and I didn't even hear it fly off, like I thought it would be noticeable, like you'd hear wind and I don't know, because the windows were up and the AC was on and I don't know, I just got home and I'm like oh crap my rear window is gone. Uh, it's like $120 for one that's pre-cut polycarbonate, but as you guys remember with the M3, I made my own polycarbonate windows, so I still have a Sawzall with a, with a polycarbonate bit on it, so I'm probably just going to buy a sheet of polycarbonate for like 30 40 bucks, just make a template and cut it out, because why not save like $100 there, but other than that, uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So guys, uh, the flare is now mounted, as you can see. Um, it looks weird in a couple of ways, and uh, this is why I just wanted to do it by myself on the other side, because I just I wasn't even sure if this is gonna work. First thing, the arch would continue inward here because this is meant to be a normal middle flare, not a whatever this is. So I actually had to cut, so that makes it really weird because it's like you have a continuous lip and then it gets skinny. Um, on the other side, which I'll just show you, I remade that lip, basically. As you can see, it continues on. I still am not done with this side. I have fine polishing to do. I have to fix this little radius right here, and then I have to create a lip on the inside out of fiberglass. But I use those screws to secure it at first because this has no screws in it except 
that one, which I don't know why I didn't take that out, but it doesn't matter. But there is no screws here. It's all fiberglass mats and resin that keep the flare to the over. Um, and then the second thing was gaps like this right here, and then the gaps right here. But I ended up filling that up completely, and it actually turned out pretty good. Uh, just a smooth contour kind of piece, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so now, uh, so now that this is mounted, that I know where I want it to sit. Um, basically, I can just take off this full over fender, which is why I left these screws exposed, because I figured I'd be taking it off again. And then also, as you can see, I am going to end up radiusing this rear right here because otherwise without camber, it would come out to here and it would rub this. So this will be just basically radius, maybe like quarter to half an inch right here, just like the other side did. And then it creates so much space for running an insanely big tire and no camber. Um, also, another thing I have to do before the canyon, which I'll probably do towards the night, is take out the camber with the adjustable arms. Uh, it's at six, seven degrees in the rear. I'm gonna bring it back to negative two, which is stock. Uh, fix the toe as much as I can to make it okay to drive, and yeah. So uh, this is all the burnt rubber that I was talking about. Looks like a drift car or something under here. From uh, me rubbing the tires on the old set. You see how much room there is? The car's fully on the ground now. Obviously for the people that watch the M3 videos, this is like PTSD for you guys because this stuff, uh, mesh mat, it's not cloth, it's fiberglass mat, which means it goes into multiple dire different directions. Basically, while the screws are in, I'll be lightly sanding this stuff just to give it something to grab onto and just lay a bunch of pieces of the mat with resin all around here. Then make sure it's strong, take out all the screws. And then from the inside, I could flip this over and literally cut all the excess over fender off so it won't have that rubbing problem. And basically it's just Bondo, 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 fiberglass from inside. Uh, yeah, it's a, not that fun, it's tedious. But, whatever, that's, that's what we're doing. Uh, I did try to record uh, me sanding, but the GoPro just had heat issues, I don't know, because it's, it's like 105 degree air temp right now, um, and in general it gets really, really hot when I record, so, oh well, um, but I totally forgot to get this resin thing, little two nibbles out, but basically uh, this is the rough shape, it's really hot right now because I actually just uh, poured water on it and uh, wiped it off and uh, put it out in the sun because the heat is so intense here that it dries up anything but comparing to this I did the same thing where I uh, I remade this lip might not be able to see it right now because it's all kind of like the same bondo color but you know molding it to there and there all around it's really really strong I mean I've been picking it up and flexing during this whole process I always flex the flare a ton just to make sure it's not going to crack any of the bondo because I learned on the M3 where all my over fenders where it was molded they all just totally cracked because it wasn't bonded strong enough. So there was too much movement and stuff. So I kind of learned from there. But right now I'm just gonna throw some filler primer on, which is uh, weird and it's like that green color. So it's gonna look dumb, but I also took the camera out of the rear, which I'll actually show you. You can see how bad this is right now. I think that's how the Honda logo is. <laughs> I don't even remember, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> pretty bad with dust but the rear end uh, I did take out the camber and made this toe pretty zeroed out as you can see now the um, tire is like fully touching instead of only like 70 or 60 percent of it so that should help a ton out as well I'm just gonna throw filler primer on and uh, put the over back on and I'll show you guys so guys here uh, is the over fender now with the flare as you can see 
obviously I'm most likely gonna have to add spacers since I was only I only needed like five six seven millimeters but I ended up with 20 so yeah I probably will do like a 15 15 or 20 mil spacer just in the rear ones are uh, fine Look to the right and slow it down a ton. Wow, that is beautiful. 